Hey, Saxon course two, lesson 19 is on perimeter. So this figure is a rectangle. The two dimensions of a rectangle are called length and width. This rectangle is three centimeters long and two centimeters wide. What is the perimeter? So we know to find the perimeter, you need to add up the lengths of all the sides. Since it's a rectangle, that means the opposite sides have to be the same. So if this side is equal to two centimeters, that means the opposite side is also equal to two. If this side is equal to 3, the opposite side has to be equal to 3. So to find the total perimeter, I'm going to add up 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2, which is equal to 10 centimeters. Now we have the perimeter of this regular hexagon. Remember from the last lesson, if it is regular, that means all the sides are the same length. So um, one, length of one side is 8 millimeters. So if I count, how many sides do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I have 6 sides. So to make this easy, I'm going to multiply 8 times 6, because there are 6 sides, and each side is 8 millimeters long. So my answer is 48 millimeters would be my perimeter. Now this shape here is a polygon, but it's not a regular polygon. All the angles are right angles, and my dimensions are in feet. So when I'm having a regular shape, I need to make sure I know how long every side is. If you look carefully, I do not know the length of this side or this side, here or here. So I need to figure those out first. And to do that, I'm going to think, well, for B, um, side B, 8 plus 4 equals the same length as side B. Because if you add these two sides together, it's going to be the same as side B. So 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. So I know that, that B is equal to 12 feet. Now on the other side, I have 11 here. So 11 is equal to 5 plus my missing side A. So to figure out what A is, I'm going to take 11 and subtract 5 from it. So 11 minus 5 is equal to 6. So A is equal to 6. So now I'm going to add up all of these sides together. So I have 12 plus 11 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4 plus 5. And my answer is 46 feet long. Now with this problem, the perimeter of a square is 48 feet, and it wants to know how long is each side. So if I know the perimeter is 48 feet total, okay, and squares, all the sides have to be the same length. So technically it would be four sides added together equals 48. Now to solve this, I'm going to take my 48 feet and divide it by the number of sides are in a square, which is 4. So 48 divided by 4 is 12. So this means that each side of my square is equal to 12 feet. If you're not sure, you can always put that back into an equation and see if I add all these 12s together, if I get 48, which I do. Okay, and that's it for this lesson.